Hello, insiders. I'm Mock. I'm a product specialist that works on copyright here at YouTube. Today, I have a special guest with me. I'm here with Fabio, who's going to talk about some updates he's been working on to help creators like you better manage re-uploads of your content on YouTube. Fabio, do you want to introduce yourself to the Creator Insider audience? Thank you. So hello, everybody. My name is Fabio. I'm product manager working on copyright. And today I'm here with an exciting update about how you can better protect your content. I have two updates, one from the web form and one in the copyright match tool. Let's start with the first one. So you can access the web form in the YouTube studio when you go to the copyright tab. And in the futures, you will see there an additional checkbox, which is called prevent copies, which means if you check this box, we as YouTube will reject or will not allow anybody to upload the same video on the platform. In case people upload similar videos or similar copies of your videos, we will in the future showing it in the copyright match tool. And you can then reviewing it and take a decision what you want. Please note, you must have worldwide exclusive rights for using this feature. Great. So let's back up for a second. Can you talk about the copyright match tool for those who don't know what it is? The copyright match tool was launched uh, three years back to give uh, more people access to the matching technology, which we use in content ID. It's rolled out today to all YPP channels and to everybody who uh, has shown a need to us. Got it. So for this new feature, Basically, when I report a video using the copyright web form, there's this new checkbox in there that says, if anybody re-uploads the copy of that video that I'm reporting, it will be automatically rejected upon upload. And then any similar copies will surface in the copyright match tool for me to review. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So when you go uh, to the copyright match tool, so you go to the studio, you click on the copyright tab, you will see like a list of takedowns you have filed and you will also see the numbers of videos we have or numbers of copies we have automatically prevented. In case you change your mind, you can also disable this functionality by clicking here again. So I'm sure some creators are wondering, do the auto removals result in strikes for the uploader? That's a very good question. No, they will not result neither in a copyright strike nor in a community guideline strike. So this is a great update, but I'm sure some creators probably have concerns about potential for abuse of this new feature. Can you talk a little bit more about that? We take the abuse very seriously. So we will carefully review the requests and misuse of the tool can result in either taking the tool away or even in termination of your account. Okay, that's really good to know. So when can creators expect to see these changes in YouTube Studio? So we will start rolling it out today. Uh, because we want to do it careful, we will doing it slowly uh, over the next couple of months. Um, the easiest way to check if you have access to these new features is if you go to the web form and see if you have the new checkbox, which is called prevent copies visible to you. Awesome. So we have some links in the description below if you want to check those out. There's a help center article as well as a video. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. And with that, Thank you, Fabio, for coming on the show. Thanks for having me.